Hey guys, it's Rick around for here, Rick of Short, and welcome to another one of my videos. This one teaching you how to install, uh, well, basically the Chinese artwork for your League of Legends. So this includes things like the loading screen. So this is an example of what I mean. This is taken from one of my videos. Uh, you've got, for instance, like uh, not all the skins change. For instance, like Graves and Fizz, they don't change. But you've got people like uh, Olaf and Ash, Tarek, Shinzel, Cassidy and Warwick. They all change, and um, uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So, for the first one, which is the pvp.net um, client, uh, which is basically this, so you've got, like, all these, so you've got, like, for instance, Akali, uh, you've got the different skins like that, and this is just for the, the patcher, well, not patcher, um, this is just for the client, so you've got, like, Master Yi and Oriana and Shivana, and that's, um, that's basically just for the um, pvp.net. So basically what you want to do with that is you want to navigate to here. And this is basically the deploy folder from your League of Legends directory. So to get to it, you just go to the start, computer, well, wherever your League of Legends uh, directory is. So for instance, here's mine, Riot Games, League of Legends. Then you go Rads, Projects. Uh, lol air client releases and the bottom one which is point one for one for me then you go deploy and you should reach here so once you're here you want to also download this which is the Tencent art pack point uh, version 7 and I'll put the link in the description so this is basically what it comes with and then what you want to do is you want to drag the assets f oop, you want to drag it or copy it so copy and then paste it into uh, the deploy file and then you want to merge them together and what this will do is it will replace all of the um, existing file uh, images into the Chinese artwork so for instance you've got champions and if I was to go just Shiku uh, for instance it would replace the Shaker one with the Nutcracker Shaker with this, for instance, and it would change them all. Ooh, I haven't actually seen that. Anyway, so that is basically uh, the way you install the PVP.net patch up. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's get to the stuff that you really want. And what you want is to get things like the loading screens and the in-game um, pictures, which I do not have. But I do like have it, I just don't have a picture of it. So, the way you want to do that is first exit out of your League of Legends, otherwise it will cause it to crash. And then you want to go ahead and download this, RAF Manager. So basically, the way you get that is going to this uh, League of Legends uh, thread uh, by a this is all created by a guy called It's Warty, and basically he has a link to da uh, downloading and installing the RAF manager and also how to use it. But this is what this video is for, so I won't, uh, well, I'll give you the link to the thread, but also if you want it, if you go to the art pack and you go read me how to install, it should come up here how to install the in game, it should have a link to the thread. But uh, I'll still put it in the description in case you uh, you will actually need the art pack uh, to install it in game because it does come with this, which is characters, and as you can see, it does have like all these .dds and excuse me, all of those. So uh, basically, once you get to that, uh, this you can download it from here, any of those, and I'll show you. So what you want to do is you want to extract it and open up the file folder. And then you want to go into RAF Manager. So, what it will do is it will just check some stuff for you and check if there's any updates, and then it should launch it in just a second. Okay, guys, so this is it. Uh, as you can see, RAF Manager, and this is what it looks like right now with my version. I'm not sure if there's going to be a difference in it, but um, anyway, so the website the thread actually doesn't really have. Uh, link is uh, it, it doesn't actually explain uh, how to use it because you can just find it in the about view simple guide and it will come up but 
I'll quickly explain it in this video. So basically what it does is it packs uh, different mods into the League of Legends directory. So you want to go, uh, I'll get out of that, you want to go back in to your art pack folder, then you want to go characters and you want to drag it into your, um, here, this RAF manager. And what it will do is it will have a look at all of the files and it should come up with something like this uh, you can just go done I'm not sure if that's just mine or, or um, everybody's but because um, I don't actually remember when I installed it if it had that or not because um, it might not have it because uh, you've I've already installed them, but in case if it comes out like that, then just continue with this part. But it might not come up with it anyway. So it asks for the name of it, and you can just type in anything. So oh, I'm gonna name mine Chinese artwork. Okay, okay. And it should come up here. So you want to click this uh, arrow and it will enable it. And then what you want to do is you want to go File and Pack. But I'm not going to do that because I've already got it. So basically what it will do is after a little bit of time, it will uh, start to pack it. And you should be able to have it. Then you should exit out of the RAF Manager. And uh, you can load up your League of Legends. But you have to make sure that both your League of Legends is completely closed while you have RAF Manager open and the good way to do that is to go into Task Manager and then go into Processes and seeing if any of the League of Legends one is there so that includes the Pando Media Booster, I'm not too sure about that one actually but things like the Patcher and all those and see if they're here but as you can see I don't have them open and you can see that the RAF Manager is not open as well so I can just open up League of Legends and it should come up with these loading screens like that which I've already done but um, if you for instance have a uh, League of Legends directory that actually isn't where it sh should be sort of if I should say that but um, for instance like normally people have it my computer and then in your C drive and then they have it under Riot Games League of Legends and Rads and all that, and this is just a really, really old version. Anyway, it's because um, I made an EU and NA one way before they actually joined them, and I put and I just used the EU one. So the way you change that is you go into RM config, you just open that up, and it should come up with this application lol root equals c slash riot game slash league of legends slash. And as you can see, it hasn't actually changed since when I first did this. So, what you want to do is uh, change that to your actual directory. So, it just has the league of legends. So, I'm going to copy all this and paste it. So, get rid of that and paste that in and then I'm going to save it, close that and I'll open RAF Manager again and when you have the Chinese artwork here you should be able to just go file and pack um, and it should pack it to the correct directory so that's how you install those Chinese artworks guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that jazz and thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video